in Gyeongju, South Korea. Good morning, everyone. We are here in Gyeongju, South Korea. Welcome back to my channel, Empathetic Wanderers. If you are new to the channel, welcome and hello, and thank you so much for visiting. My name's Jeff, I'm from the United States, and for the past couple years I've been uh, traveling primarily in Asia, um, and I make travel vlogs and uh, food vlogs and local spots and kind of like videos uh, about language, and so, just really any way to kind of connect with people when you're traveling abroad, find deeper and more authentic experiences when you go places, um, and make it more accessible. So if that's content that you're interested in, please go ahead and consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the content that I'm creating. As I said, I am currently in Gyeongju, uh, in South Korea, which is in the south part of South Korea near Busan, which is where I'm staying right now. Um, if you watched my last video, it was a little how-to of how to get from Busan to South uh, to Gyeongju, which was about an hour-long bus ride, super painless, um, about a $10 round trip fare. And yeah, so now I am heading to find a bus to get to um, my first destination. I'm going the opposite way that I think most people go. There's a number of tourist destinations here that kind of everyone goes to, and I'm going to the furthest one first because um, I want to get back in time because this is like the main, obviously the main city area, and the furthest one that I want to go to, Sakuram. Um, probably saying that wrong, but whatever. Um, is a bit far so i just want to make sure that i get there get back and yeah so i just need to find the bus which is one of the places I'm actually going to go see, and then get off there, and then take the 12 from Buxa station to Sakuram. Um, I think this ride is about an hour. I'm not sure how much it's going to cost, but so far so good. It's 8.29 and I'm on the road. Uh, I think I'm going to have plenty of time today. I'm not leaving for another couple hours, so. Let's head to second down. get off right there on the 10 and then I'm just right across the street if you have any questions you can go to this so this is a tourist information place that I went and they speak English so it's super easy larger coat on. It is very cold at the top of the mountain. Um, there's a little bit of snow left over. But yeah, I just took the 10, the bus 10 from the bus transit station um, all the way to Bulbuksa, 
Bolguksa uh, station and that's actually going to be my next location after this and then unfortunately I had to wait about 30 minutes because this next bus that goes from Bulguksa to Sakudam which is where I am right now uh, only comes once an hour so that would have been fine uh, but it was really cold uh, I did not dress properly today um, I was expecting it to get a bit warmer but it's all good uh, so let's let's head in and see what we can see at Sakuram, and then we're gonna head down to Bubuksa, and then from there we'll go back into the city to Donggung Palace, and then from Donggung Palace to Tumsung Day, I think is what it's called. And yeah, let's head in. I can feel my body cold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me. Looks can be deceiving. Let you get the best of me. In bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go. I just can't take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no go. I just can't take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. So put your hand in mine. Follow me. Let me waste your time. Set up the do some stupid shit. Take a seat. Let me. Sorry I couldn't bring you in there. Um, the like whole point of this Sokuram is it's like a Buddhist temple. So um, it's called the Sokuram Grotto, which I like wasn't really entirely sure of what it was, and I hadn't I couldn't see any. Also, if I sound weird, it's because I am so cold. My hands are so cold right now. Um, but there's like no photos of anything and so I wasn't really sure what I was going into but it turns out it's like a temple and you're not obviously allowed to take any photos or video inside you're allowed to go inside but there's like people that are practicing um, <clears throat> and praying and stuff like that so it's just not respectful and there's plenty of signs but it's definitely worth it it's like maybe a 30 minute walk um, and there's like plenty of signs that go up to it and it's basically like this temple and then into the the face of the mountain there's a big statue of Buddha but it's like underground and so as you walk into the temple you can see the Buddha you can see the people praying and we're gonna head down to Bulguksa which I should be able to take photos in front of and hopefully I won't have to wait too long for the bus, but I probably will, so let's head there. Treat you like your heaven, thought that I knew better. Keep falling for your innocence, acting like you're into me. I know this is hopeless, moving in slow motion. Trying to control my thoughts, but I can't stop our body talk. This is a no go. I just can't take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no go. I just can't take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. So put your hand in mine. Follow me. Let me waste your time. Set up the do some stupid shit. Take a seat. Temple, which is kind of the main reason that I wanted to go to Gyeongju. Um, but it's this temple behind me right here, and it's really beautiful. Um, there's a few people here. It was 5,000 won to get in, it was 5,000 won to get in the last place, so about like eight dollars in total to do both of these two places. Um, but yeah, there's like a couple tourist shops. 
there's like a bunch of places you can get like there's like a bunch of vending machines and areas to sit um and then this one is a lot easier to get to uh than sakuram uh this one is like there's like a bunch of restaurants across the street there's a tourist information place this is right where the bus stop was <clears throat> that i arrived at before i was able to get on the second bus so um you just take the 10 from the transit center all the way to Bulguksa, which is B-U-L-G-U-K-S-A. And it's pretty obvious. There's like a million restaurants to the left. There's a huge parking lot to the right when you arrive. And you just walk through the parking lot and there's a big sign. You just follow all the people. So it's definitely worth coming. Uh, I think like springtime and the fall is probably absolutely stunning here because there's so many trees that, are, that have no leaves on them right now. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna head out, and then uh, from here I'm gonna try to head down to um, Wuri Pond Donggung Palace, Donggung Palace, uh, and then from there do a couple more things and wrap up the day here in Gyeongju. get here stay on the 10 the 10 is your friend and that'll take you to Bunguksa and then you can get on the 12 from Bunguksa to get up to Sakgudam and then when you get back from Sakgudam get back on the 10 if you want to come to this palace it, it feels like it's like a palace garden I'm not sure uh, I, I think it's a little bit more lush obviously during the um, springtime um, but let's go take a look and see. I see a little... also like nice music playing everywhere which is peaceful and nice so yeah I'm gonna run through here and then uh, head to the last place and then go back into the city Probably stunning when that tree is blooming. Observatory. Uh, it's like an ancient uh, part of South Korea, and apparently it's like I said, one of like the oldest astronomical observatories um, in Asia or in Korea. Um, and yeah, it really, this really was a, a great trip. Uh, it's only 1:15 right now, and I left Busan at 7 a.m. and I got in at about 8:15. So. It's been a full five hours. I've been kind of like going fast though. I'm not taking too much time and I haven't sat down for food yet. So um, I would take maybe a couple extra hours into consideration. Um, but it's definitely a, an easily doable like late morning to evening day. It seems like, like I said, there's plenty of uh, tickets on buses and stuff like that, super affordable. I think I tabulated all of it. It was like seven, seven for the ride here, um, 
five for the ride back. And then I think I spent like maybe six or seven dollars on buses. Um, and about 13 on admittance to into different parts. So you do the math, uh, like 25 bucks, which is very affordable. I don't know why, but like, I think I, I was thinking of this as being like hour, like five hours away. And so I was like, I was really worried I wasn't gonna be able to do everything in time and that the transportation wouldn't be possible and I you know I wouldn't be able to get a, a ticket back but it was all super easy and um, yeah I hope you really enjoyed it I would love to hear what your experience has been with South Korea if there's anything that you think that I missed here or you think that I could be doing better um, really appreciate any sort of feedback um, so let's just keep being empathetic keep wondering keep spreading positivity I hope you all have an incredible day I can't wait to see you in the next one so the verb to speak is hanashimasu, hanashimasu, which is an affirmative.